A warm welcome to our channel subscribers and animal lovers. Africa is the land of capable hunters. Not that other continents don't have hunting going on, but Africa has seen its share of hunting for thousands of years, and we will look into one of those today. In the 16th century South Africa, Rhodesia state was home to the indigenous Khoikhoi Khoi people. Rhodesia was known as Lion's State due to its sizable population of the wild cat. Your attempts to locate Rhodesia and Google Maps might not help, as today we know this region as Zimbabwe. The Khoikhoi Khoi farmed livestock, particularly goat, which became their livelihood. There were Dutch settlements in South Africa at the time, and they got along with the people of Khoikhoi. Khoi. Their farming initiatives were merged into larger operations. They, however, had a common need for an able guard dog that could fend off any wild animals preying on their livestock. The Khoikhoi Khoi already had a dog breed that was great at hunting. Formidable, majestic, but didn't have appealing looks. They had one distinct feature, however, a ridge on their back. Something unique, like the shark fin is to sharks. The Dutch were impressed by this breed. They had brought along a few breeds from Europe themselves. Terriers, Great Dane, Greyhounds and Bloodhounds. In 1860, Rhodesia faced drought and famine, and the sweltering heat didn't help either. A Khoikhoi Khoi farmer decided to breed amongst the dogs at his disposal to create the ultimate livestock guard dog that could withstand the local conditions, and he succeeded in his endeavor. A yet-to-be-officially-named dog breed was born. Local farmers started adopting this dog breed to protect their herds. The dog was so good at this that it could ward off lions stalking the farm. The dog's reputation proceeded, fetching it the title African Lion Dog. If four of these guys got together, they could intimidate a lion, and at times the lion would just flee, as the big cats usually don't prefer a conflict. They are known for their stealth hunting capabilities, that is. So can they hunt lions? Of course, if lion cubs that are unaccompanied by their parents count. Anything more, and expect nothing short of total annihilation of the dog breed itself. To be fair, the big cats have been designed by nature to hunt for a living and have been gifted by evolution with razor-sharp claws and skull-crushing teeth tailor-made for enhanced hunting capabilities. The dogs that we talk about have been domesticated by humans for thousands of years to obey commands and remain loyal to its master. So the question shifts from whether dogs can hunt lions to whether humans are a better trainer than evolution and nature itself when it comes to hunting. Besides, dogs were never bred to hunt wild predators. They were instead trained to assist humans on hunting expeditions or guard their property. Dogs, however, might interfere should their master be threatened by a much larger and intimidating beast like the lion itself. So let us not pit our beloved pets against the apex predators of the wild and toy with their loyalty. In 1900, Mr. Francis Richard Barnes, an animal enthusiast, enrolled into the Bulawayo Kennel Club. He was a member of several kennel clubs across the globe. Every year, the Bulawayo Kennel Club hosted a dog show. In 1922, Mr. F. R. Barnes invited the owners of the Ridgeback Dogs to participate. And it was in this show the erstwhile African Lion Dogs were officially named the Rhodesian Ridgeback. He also submitted a petition for patent rights for this dog to the Bulawayo Kennel Club. This request was forwarded to the South African Kennel Association and was approved officially in 1927. Once locally known in South Africa, Rhodesian Ridgeback's popularity grew world over. In 1955, the American Kennel Club approved this breed and categorized it as a hound. These dogs can grow up to a height of 69 centimeters and a weight of 38 kilograms. 
The average lifespan is 10 to 12 years. There have been accounts of Ridgebacks living up to an age of 16 years, attributed to a healthy diet and active lifestyle, about which your trusted vet can advise. Ridgebacks give birth to about 7 to 8 puppies. There is one Ridgeback named Etana in Germany that delivered 8 puppies in its first pregnancy and 17 puppies during its second pregnancy. No surgical procedure was performed and 8 female and 9 male puppies were born healthy. Rhodesian Ridgebacks come in only 3 colors, Wheaton, Light Wheaton and Red Wheaton. Black is the most common nose color found, although liver and brown are rarely seen. Ridgebacks develop white or black shades in the chest and feet regions. The hallmark of this breed of dogs is the hair in the ridge on their back will be facing forward, opposite to the rest of the hair in its body. These guys have a long and straight tail. They use it very much like cheetahs do for stability during high-speed maneuvers. These are the norms that an original Rhodesian Ridgeback has to comply with. In the unlikely case, the one you own doesn't, then there is no need to love it any less. A dog's true worth is decided by the training it receives and not necessarily by it being a pure breed or otherwise. Ridgebacks can adapt to extreme heat and cold weathers. They can survive with no water for up to 24 hours during emergencies. They can sense motion from up to 30 meters away. They have a strong sense of smell and are instinctively driven by it to explore any such stimulations. Do not leave food on the kitchen counter and expect it to be there untouched when you return. Training these guys is difficult. They are known to test the patience of trainers. Ridgebacks are not popular for obeying commands, especially from someone newly introduced to them, at least not after a certain age. So train them from an early age. They are quick learners. They remain hyperactive until the age of four. Remember Brad Pitt from Ocean's Eleven? a movie in which he is seen eating something in almost every scene he appears? Now assume every hour of the day is a scene. That is how much Ridgebacks eat. They are notorious for their humongous appetite. The endurance of these dogs is commendable. A two-year-old Ridgeback can sprint for 5 to 8 kilometers when an adult can cover 40 to 50 kilometers without taking any breaks. It is important to walk Ridgebacks for 40 minutes a day and make them exercise at least twice every day. The lack thereof will lead them to getting bored and as with many other dog breeds, this is a dog you don't want to get bored in your household. Ridgebacks can be seen digging the floor and sitting down in it, especially during hot weathers. This is a cooling mechanism many dogs adopt, especially when they find wet sand under shade. Ridgebacks have short and shiny hair that doesn't shed easy. Brushing the hair once a week is encouraged. For what the Ridgeback lacks in grooming costs, it compensates on food expenditure. As mentioned earlier, these guys eat a lot. And the master is going to find it difficult to manage supplies at home if the dog isn't trained to be disciplined about its eating habits. Ridgebacks are not apartment friendly. They are preferred for larger independent homes or farms. It is important to fence the place as the dog might surprise you with its jumping capabilities. These guys are not recommended for first time dog owners. They don't bark much, but when they do, it will drive you nuts. Ridgebacks are not kid friendly, but when trained well, you can have them in the same household as kids. However, refrain from mounting the kid on top of the dog. It is best if you could stick to actual horses for horse riding, as the worst that could happen then would be the kid falling off. It is important to clip the nails of the dogs regularly as they can grow quickly 
and might injure the whole nail till its root in case of any mishaps. Ridgebacks are very loyal to their owners and are highly territorial. They don't allow strangers in. It is important to familiarize the dog with everyone who is allowed to visit the home regularly, otherwise they will have to wait until you can intervene. For a newborn Ridgeback, the first 18 months are crucial as they are prone to contracting several infections. So keep them away from human contact from other than close family members and be sure to give them all vaccinations prescribed by your vet. These guys retail from $1,000 to $2,000. The latter is usually the price quoted for dogs that were bred in Zimbabwe. We hope you liked the content in today's video. Please let us know what you think in the comment section. Until next time, take care.